Hi, I'm a new client and I wanted to see if I can get an appointment for three weeks from now. Well, honey, I don't have any time for any new clients right now, but here's what you can do. You can go ahead and send a $5,000 deposit via PayPal, and when you come in, please have your hair already done. Can you handle that? Oh, oh, okay. Hey y'all, what's up? I'm Nina Renee and I'm back with another video. I am going to talk about the pros and cons of doing your locks yourself versus going to a stylist. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure that you subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. A lot of folks who are thinking about starting locks wonder about the cost and it's a completely valid question. And the answer to that is that it really depends on you. I had a pro start my locks because I'm really not good with precision things with my hands and I knew I wanted my parts to be pretty neat. After that, I maintained my locks myself. And it's free 99, Ay. YouTube makes it super easy to learn how to retwist your locks, how to shampoo them, how to style them. I mean, you can learn how to color them too, but that's one thing I strongly suggest leaving to the pros because there's just too much room for error. Obviously, you're gonna have to pay for the tools and some of the products you use chances are you have a lot of these things already if you're a loose natural flexi rods you know your curlers they can be used on your locks things like flat irons curling irons all of that definitely not now one thing that I will say is a good thing to have is a hooded dryer if you have the kind that is like the space helmet you're probably gonna have to upgrade because the locks do make your head pretty big so you're gonna need a room for all that so the downsides I'm sure you probably know as a loose natural, your arms will get tired, okay? You will have your arms up there all day. Another downside for me is that instead of looking like day one salon hair, it might look like day four or five maybe. Some people have gifted hands where they can do their hair themselves, they can do their makeup themselves, and it always looks really good. If you're one of those people, then doing your locks yourself is probably gonna be a piece of cake. You do run the risk of damaging your locks if you get really overzealous on YouTube and you feel empowered so you start interlocking your hair yourself you start coloring and highlighting and all of that. Take your time and don't try to do too much. You can become more tender headed doing your hair yourself. Whenever somebody touches my hair, I'm just like that. Overall though, I love doing my hair myself. I like having control over the tension that I use, over the products that I use, so it works out for me. So going to a stylist, of course, you're going to get a fresh, clean, salon perfect look. You're going to be able to achieve a variety of styles that might be harder for you to do yourself. You'll also have somebody who is attuned to the health of your locks, which is really important. And also, you just get a sense of security from going to somebody who knows what they're doing. The chances of a botched job should be much slimmer. So the downsides, you will be coming up off some coins. It could be about $85 for a retwist only, 250 plus for color, and that does not include tip. Also, you do have less control over the tension, over the products. If you start balding, that's a problem. You don't want to be paranoid, but you don't want to be passive either. So make sure that you know what's going on, make sure that you're asking questions, and be respectful. And lastly, dealing with personalities. There are a lot of diva and devo stylists. If you're supposed to be larger than life, and you know, I gotta pay $10,000 in advance to get on your calendar, I'm good, love, enjoy. So either way, whether you decide to do your locks yourself or go to a professional, you're gonna be paying with your time and energy or with your money. It's a nice thing to go to a stylist and you know get that fresh look, but just know that it is possible to do your hair yourself. Don't think, oh my gosh, I'm starting locks. It's gonna cost me you know, $500 a month. It really does not have to at all. So let me know what you think of this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you like it and thank you for watching.